good morning gang welcome to the channel it is cold today it is incredibly cold today here in southern ontario we are uh, about minus 27 with the wind chill factor right now celsius which is i don't know minus probably minus 12 minus 13 fahrenheit very cold tractor started no problem yet again another reason why i love that kubota but i do keep the block heater plugged in but my honda pioneer this morning will not start it is incredibly cold so i've got uh, this motormaster eliminator jump pack here we're gonna see if we can uh, get it going so uh, before we do anything else let's try and get that done and stick around let's see what we get into all right so that jumper pack actually did it uh these are fuel injected apparently electronically fuel injected i didn't think it was gonna go uh but a little bit of work and turning it over it uh, it did so we're all fired up we'll let it warm up we'll get the work okay so we got everything started and they're all warming up but this is probably going to be a two-day video because it's so cold i don't imagine we're going to get a lot of work done out here today um little update though the real link uh go pt security camera that we use working fantastic but today it's froze and it doesn't want to pan or tilt um so i'm not going to try and force it i'm just going to let it warm up a bit and see if that fixes everything but other than that it's been working fantastic as an update just to let everybody know uh and the uh it's been alerting anytime something comes on the lot or walks by the the uh, motion sensor the video quality has been fantastic i'm able to keep an eye on the lot at night in the middle of the dark uh which has been really great uh and the megabytes or gigabytes or whatever of data that it's using is incredibly low compared to what i thought it was going to be i bought as i said in the video a link the, put the link up here above the card up here uh, about that security system uh i bought a four gig telus sim card thinking it was going to use quite a bit of data i check the camera usually two three times a day and then i've had probably a half a dozen uh motions detected that i've checked uh and tomorrow was actually exactly one month and uh, i've used 340 megabytes so i haven't even used a full gig of data yet on that plan so that's fantastic it's much less than what i expected so uh really so far the only issue we've had is the fact that it has froze up a bit the video quality is still good but it won't pan or tilt right now. So uh, I'll let you know how that works out uh, once it starts warming up. So what we're gonna do today is, uh, Lisa is over with uh, Ryan, uh, her daughter. They've got a fire going. Uh, I've got the equipment warmed up. I'm gonna move a bunch of brush over there and get another burn pile ready. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a walk through the lower portion of our property and plan out our path to the water we know where it's been approved to come through and everything but we just need to uh, figure out exactly what needs to come out and that it's allowed to be uh, uh, I think it's 1.5 meters it's roughly five feet wide uh, and we want to try and snake it through any of the trees there's some small bits of brush down there and that so we're gonna do a little bit of a plan out today and then uh, possibly uh, do some cutting uh, just depends on how we hold up with the weather weather and tomorrow we're gonna start tackling this. We're gonna get out here, it's supposed to warm up tomorrow. We're gonna to get that wood splitter out and we're gonna get starting to get this cut, split and stack. So uh, stick around, let's see what happens. So as Sean said, I think in his intro, it is very cold out here. So we're sticking pretty close to the fire. This is uh, daughter Ryan and she is out here for the first time in quite a while. She goes to school out east. So um, she hasn't seen the place since we sort of started clearing and it's quite a change from the last time that she was here. So we're gonna uh, do some planning out of the, the path. Oh, and here comes Sean, still in the show. Some of this 
up by hand now. There's just little bits left over, so Ryan's going to drive the side-by-side -side over beside the pile. We'll just throw it in the back of the side-by-side. We're here on the lot we're up here burning and ryan has had a major injury <laughs> she broke a nail so <laughs> we better you know call 911. <laughs> take me home yeah exactly hey there gang welcome to part two of the video and actually uh the true purpose of this video as it turns out uh in that first part of the video you'll notice we were on the property on an incredibly cold day using the Kubota to move brush and get things burnt up and we were going to start marking out our pathway to the water. Uh, however, it got so cold, all the cameras and cell phones were dying out and we couldn't even record anything more and it was just miserable to get any work done. So we uh, called it a day. And then yesterday it went from minus 27 with the wind chill the day before to I believe something like plus four and poured rain all day. So welcome to Southern Ontario. Uh, but as you can see right now, I am in the truck and I am headed eastbound. Uh, I am headed to Merrickville, Ontario, which is roughly an hour and a half east of Kingston. And I am looking at the purchase of a new piece of equipment for the property. And basically what that is, is a utility trailer basically for the property itself. Something I can tow behind the side-by-side -side or the Kubota get into tighter spots, off-road with it, uh, and I found a product that I'm hoping, when I get there, we'll see, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to shoot some video for you, uh, we'll see if it's as good as what my research has uh, led me to believe. So basically it's a modular system, it's called a Tough Terrain uh, trailer, and it's a modular system, you buy a what they call an off-road chassis with tandem axles and off-road tires on it and then you can buy uh, other accessories for it I'm hoping to buy a, uh, a dump box for it they have a 40 cubic foot I believe uh, dump box that can go on it or you can actually apparently quickly remove that and add log bunks to it to be able to uh, move logs around the property so that would be incredibly helpful, especially when we're going to uh, work on that uh, pathway because we'll be able to literally just tow it behind the side by side. I can cut the trees, put the stuff in the back or the logs. There really isn't hardly any trees to cut there to be honest, but there's a lot of deadfall. Uh, so there'll be a lot of stuff that I need to just pick up off the ground, cut up, put in the trailer. So. We're headed to check that out today, and I uh, hope you stick around, and uh, let's see what kind of product it is, and hopefully, in uh, roughly an hour and a half or so, I'll be headed back uh, with uh, a trailer inside my dump trailer. So let's stick around and see what we get into. Guys, here we are. We're back on the lot with the new trailer. So just a quick walk around. We're running out of light leases here now with me. But we're getting close to sunset and I just wanted to do a quick uh, kind of final walk around of this. So as you can see, independent suspension, two off-road tires. They also uh, have an option apparently of turf tires for it. These are the actual bunk arms. When you remove the pins for the dump box, you can put them in to do uh, hauling logs. The tongue does actually expand and extend out. Uh, they're saying online about a 2200 pound capacity uh, inside the uh, the dump box so you know just a hair over a ton so that's actually pretty good so uh, so far quite happy with the make and the uh, how sturdy the trailer is. Uh, we're just gonna hook it on the side by side and give it a quick test. We are hooked up to the side-by-side -side. Uh, and again, like I say, apparently that tongue extends so you can put the log bunks on it and carry logs, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, 
as you see it's a trailer it works quite well so far again like I always say I'm never gonna give a full review until we test things out permanently but uh, so far it tows incredibly well behind the side-by-side -side, and that's kind of what we're looking for so uh, if you like this weird chopped up video today we would really appreciate a thumbs up it obviously helps us grow the channel share the video with your friends subscribe hit the like button and uh, we'll see you on the next video where we actually get to load this with some stuff and test it out have a good one this combination is gonna get some real work done Kubotas, side-by-sides, and trailers. Oh my.